What's up guys? So this is part two of the video. You can see basically fishing in bed right now. Uh we've been fishing for about two hours. We've been up since six. Kinda set the high fish pros up. Uh I checked it one half an hour ago, the minnow was gone. And I just had a flag pop up, but the minnow was taken again. I literally it was literally out for like a minute and then the flag popped up and there was a fish um we'll see if we'll get anything i'm not really marking anything right now it's kind of cold but i think i'm gonna start hole hopping really soon so stay tuned maybe we'll get some big so it's been really slow today i just had my first mark go up but we haven't gotten anything it's about one o'clock right now Hopefully it picks up soon. Yesterday we did pretty good and today it's not really going our way. We're not really fishing in the house right now. We kind of moved. The people here showed us where they were catching them yesterday. So we're kind of sitting on that spot and seeing if anything comes up. So hopefully we'll get on them. After a while. There we go. The little guy, only 12 inches. It's a whole bunch of bait fish there, and he smacked it. Marking again. And now it away. Came right off the bottom. Oh, it's coming up again. It's coming again. Back down. I keep marking them, it's just they're not hitting. It's a big mark, but it's not trying to take it. It's really suspended, so I don't know if it's a walleye or not. Let's see if it was flying after it, but. I don't get it. There we go. What the fuck, man? Every single time. First fish of the day. <laughs> it's not the smallest one. Took a 12 incher, got him on the iFish Pro on a flathead. Literally 7 a.m. They left the iFish Pros out on night by accident. We'll see, maybe today's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be 36 degrees today, so it'll be whole hopping a lot. But I think this is a smaller one. Yeah, it's a tiny one. It came up really aggressively. This one's too small to keep. It's probably like 10 inches. Real skinny. I wasn't marking him though. He just kind of hit it. Using like a little rattle spoon. I'll put a minnow head on there. There we go. I just had one take it. I don't know if my middle is still on there now. Oh, I got him. Didn't seem very big, but yeah, it's a little guy. There we go. Nothing to brag about, but it's about like an 11 inch. I'm gonna let him go though, he's kind of skinny. This 
basic rules, but I do kind of rip my head off myself. So over here, I just take this metal head, and just hook it on here. It looks like shit right now, but it's gonna. The snow's gonna come off. The ice is gonna come off of it. It's pretty cold out here. So I get in the water and I drop it down. Once it gets to the bottom, I like to pick it up like 10 feet. We figured out that was like the best thing. Not pick it up, like pick it up to 10 foot depth. It's like 12 and a half here. So we jig it up till 10. And they usually just come flying after it. They're on the bottom, but they'll like come rushing after it. And they'll usually hit it then. Because if we pick it up slowly, they'll come look at it. And they'll hesitate. But like that, they're going to like just run at it and eat it. So that's what's been working. There we go, we got one. Let's see that it's about 16 inch or perfect for the frying pan. It came right off the bottom, I didn't even see him at all. And a jigging spoon with a jig head. I have a fish down here. But it's it came up to it like three times and it's just not hitting it. It's a big mark. Probably can't see it, but it's a big fish. And it looks like it at least. It, you'll be able to eat it. He goes up to it and then comes straight down and I try to go below him, then go right above him when he's going down. That usually gets them fired up over here. Try to go faster away from him and stop it at one point when they look like they're about to hit it. And then another good tip on Red Lake is to make sure you have a drill so you could drill some holes because fishing in those ice houses isn't always the best. You'll mark fish, but they're a lot more finicky than if you drill your own holes. And out of all the ice houses out here, we're like the only people that are actually going outside and trying to find them out here. So, that's something to think about if you're ever on Red Lake. Hey guys, it's Dave here. I forgot to film an ending to this video. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for my next videos, which are going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's going to be part 3 and 4 of Red Lake Fishing. Uh, if you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It will help me out a lot. And make sure to have a good day and stay tuned for my next videos.